What can superhero movies teach you about becoming a better storyteller? The answer to that question will be found in your next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. If you've seen any of my other tips, you probably picked up on the fact that I like movies. I have a confession to make. I really like superhero movies. Not just any. I love the Marvel Universe that's been created in the last decade. I also enjoy the Star Wars franchise and Pixar movies. Why those and not others? Because the creators of those movies, those franchises, are terrific storytellers. This point was underscored for me over the weekend when I was watching an interview with directors Joe and Anthony Russo. They have directed two of the biggest movies in history, and their third, which is called Avengers Endgame, is about to come out in a few days. During this insightful interview, Joe Russo said a couple of things that jumped out at me, and I'll focus on these two quotes in my next couple of videos. The first quote is this, Storytellers want their heroes to be at their lowest point when they meet their worst villain. I love that quote. It's a reminder of what I've been taught by my coaches and mentors and what I try to, to impart on others. If you want to connect with your listener, if you want to create that deep emotional bond, the stakes have to be extremely high. There has to be a lot at risk for people to really care about the outcome. In superhero movies, there's always a villain. It's pretty obvious. But most of us live in the real world, okay? So what are our villains that we can talk about in our stories? A financial planner could talk about clients who faced financial ruin if they didn't make some serious changes to their lifestyle or, or how they were spending money through their company. She could also talk about a couple who had to make a tough decision of either educating their kids through college or keeping their retirement, having that which do we choose mentality before they met this planner and she made changes that helped improve their lives. As a speech coach, I've got stories of clients who came to me who were really stressed out, anxious, fearful about giving speeches until we took them through the process. Compare that to the story of, let's say, a dietitian who worked with a client who came to her and said, you know, I've been feeling a little bit lethargic lately. I need to lose about, oh, 10, maybe 15 pounds. Not very compelling, right? Compare that to the story of someone who comes to her and says, I was at the doctor, I had a heart attack. If I don't lose 125 pounds in the next three months, I'm going to die. That's compelling, right? There are high stakes. This person's life is at risk versus, eh, you know, I'd like, like to feel a little bit more energy. I need to lose 10 pounds. As you craft your story, keep the words of Joe Russo in mind. We want to see your hero at a low point when the big villain whether it's financial difficulty, health risk, relationship risk, we want that villain to be at its strongest point. That's when the audience buys in. Your listener wants to hear about the outcome, which hopefully will be a success. Tomorrow, you'll hear a little bit more wisdom from these brilliant directors.